high earth signs. Um, I just got through with a meditation and I felt led to do this video per element. Um, so earth signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, essentially, um, I, it's, it was kind of unclear, but, um, I did one fire sign video and kind of figured out the layout, but, um, I'm winging it here. Like, I think, um, I'm just going to pull some cards to see what you should be asking for guidance or maybe um, the cards that come out are just confirmation to tell you that this is something you need to seek guidance from your spirit guides from the divine the universe God you know however you believe the angels archangels um, your guardian angels um, your spirit team essentially so I'm going to get started with an oracle card to see if that can kind of guide us to what you need to be asking guidance for. Spirit guides, give me one card for earth signs. So we get ancestral wisdom. We are your ancestors and we love you. We walked the earth many years before you. We ask you at this poignant time to learn and grow from our past experiences. You are our legacy and we will keep on helping you as we continue to evolve here in the spirit world. So this is definitely a message from, you know, your ancestors and spirit guides, spirit team saying we're trying to help you so let's see what if anything comes out about what are they trying to help you with um let's use this let's get an oracle card another oracle card this is light workers oracle i believe Give me a card to assist the earth signs. It says, trust the niggle. What is niggling? What is the niggling feeling trying to tell you? What do you feel a nudge from? You know? Um, maybe this is something that's just been put on the back burner or something that you're not necessarily facing and dealing with that you need to ask guidance to get healing for. Okay. Spirit, give me one card. to help us here for earth signs and this is queen of wands this definitely represents um, an energy of bringing pa your passion your motivation into your intuition it's kind of the um, the united force there so maybe it's about bringing, you know, pursuing a passion and having the confidence to do so. That's what I'm getting for that. Let's get more cards. Sorry if I'm kind of quiet and low. I just, I did an amazing meditation. A Reiki healing meditation and I just got all these messages well it was like um, it really calmed my spirit but I feel like I saw so much um, that I wanted to 
share. So let's get another card for Earth signs. And we get the Two of Swords. So I feel like this could be about, you know, a decision that needs to be made about seeing the truth in a situation in order to move forward. Um, it could be about a choice of pursuing something that you're passionate about. Or possibly it could be something that you haven't been you know, feeling motivated towards, but you know is, you know, a priority, um, something very important to your growth. And Spirit wants to help you with it. Uh, let's see what else we get. It's something that's been pecking away at you. And it's probably affecting other parts of your life. Okay, we get the Six of Cups. So this really could be about, um, you know, a past love. It could be, it could have something to do with children um, or pets. I mean, they put a pet here. It could be about needing healing. Um, it could be about making a decision or understanding the lesson that you were meant to learn. Maybe there's been something where you felt like, you know, stuck in, in regard to something from the past. Um, and you need to get your mind clear or you need to figure out how to move forward. What was the you know, karmic lesson that you needed to learn in order to, you know, move to the next level. Let's get another card. And we get the magician. So the magician is um, definitely somebody that understands the incorporation of, you know, bringing that guidance from, from spirit down into your intuition in order to manifest, in order to move forward, in order to, you know, see the desires of your heart revealed and realized. Um, this particular magician card it's like he's over um, a pool of water, which could be emotions, and he's rising up above it. But he's pulling that energy. He's pulling that into um, what he's seeking, what he's seeking from the divine. And I feel like with this symbol here, this indicates, you know, divinity and, um, you know, it, it, it indicates uh, divine blessings for me in this situation. So I don't know if any of this resonates with you, if any of the pictures are stirring something inside you to confirm that you need to ask spirit for guidance in this situation. Let me get another oracle card to close this out a little bit. What other messages do we have for earth signs? What I do find interesting is I don't see this earth element here. And so I think it's asking you to go outside of, you know, your comfort zone, obviously, um, to get some healing and be able to move forward. So we get Jade, and it is about wellness. The recovery of health and wellness is here. 
So I think overall emotional wellness, you see there's, um, there's water in this one. This is a cups. I feel like, I feel like this is about emotional wellness and getting assistance from, from your spirit team to heal. I mean, I was saying that word heal several times before we got this card. So I think that it's really about asking for guidance to, to heal from a situation of the past. And it's going to open up so much more for you once you can get past that. It's like this one last challenge that you have to, ooh, sorry about that. Um, it's like this one last challenge that you have to get through in order to see the desires of your heart manifested. You need that healing. Well, let me know if this resonates with you. Like, share, and subscribe. Put in the comments, um, you know, if this resonates for you. If, you know, if this helped you in any way. I appreciate you spending this time with me. And remember that the universe has your back. And so do I. See you next time. Thanks.